and welcome to today's grammar game show. I'm your host, Will, but I'm no auxiliary. And of course, let's not forget Leslie, our all-knowing voice in the sky. Hello, everyone. Tonight, we're going to ask three questions about the present perfect simple and continuous tenses. Yes, those past to present tenses using have plus a past participle. Okay, now let's meet our contestants. Hi everyone, I'm Maya. And contestant number two. Hi Will, my name's Mike. Welcome back, Mike. Okay, let's get going. And don't forget, you can play along at home too. Question one, true or false? The present perfect continuous has a use that is the same as the present perfect simple. True. Leslie? It is true. Both can be used for an activity which started in the past and continues into the present. Well done, you scored two points. And for a bonus 19 points, can you give us an example? Uh... I've been working as an accountant for eight years. And? I've worked as an accountant for eight years. Leslie! Yep, both correct and with the same meaning. Well done, Maya. You score six points. But you said... Question two. As we've just said, the present perfect simple and continuous can have the same use. However, Sometimes the present perfect continuous cannot be used, but the present perfect simple can. Why? Trick question. They can always be used the same. Leslie! Nope. Sorry. Because of its continuous form, the present perfect continuous cannot usually be used with state verbs. This means you must use the simple form even if you mean continuous. Mike, if you can give us an example of some state verbs, you can still score. Um, no, need, want. That'll do nicely. One point for you. OK, time for our final question. This one is a picture question. Have a look at this picture and make two sentences with it. One in the present perfect simple and one in the continuous. He's been writing letters for an hour. He's written a number of letters. Leslie! Absolutely right again. The present perfect simple looks at completed actions and often counts how many or how much. Whereas, the present perfect continuous tends to see one action in duration and cares about how long. Good job, 33 points to you. Well, that brings us to the end of today's grammar game show. Let's count out the points. And the winner is Maya with 37 and a half. Well done, here's what you've won. It's a toothbrush! That should help you brush up on your English. We'll see you again next week where you can play for an even bigger prize. And Mike, you got totally destroyed, didn't you? I just wanted to say... Bring out the venomous snake. Looks like we'll need another contestant. Thanks for joining us. Say goodbye, Leslie. Goodbye, Leslie. Oh, every time. We'll see you again next time. <laughs> <laughs>